Hey guys, what's up? It's Anthony here from SCK Today, and I first want to apologize for the lack of videos lately. I've been very busy with some personal and client projects, but now that those are all wrapped up, I will be making my weekly videos out here on YouTube. With that said, let's get into the tutorial. This tutorial will be how to make a web view in your iPhone application, and if you aren't familiar with what a web view is, it's simply your website in an iPhone app. So let's go ahead and go into Xcode and navigate to File, New Project. We'll be choosing a view-based application and titling this Web View. So let's first head into our classes directory and go into our Web View View Controller.h. Here we will just simply make an IB outlet of a UI Web View. We will title this Web View Web View. Now let's go into our resources folder and double click our web view view controller.xib and that will launch up interface folder. Now that interface builder is launched up, we can go ahead and drag in a UI view and also under data views you will find a little safari type object and if you select that and drag it into the window that will be your UI web view. In my case, I'm going to add in a web view and a navigation bar. And I'll just title this website, adjust it accordingly, and also the web view itself. Now let's go ahead and select our files owner. And where under outlets you see web view, just drag it into the proper object and go file save, interface builder quit. Now let's head into our web view view controller.m and here under the view did load method we will have to uncomment it out. And first we are going to be creating our uh, string URL. So NS string and we'll just call this URL equals and now the URL uh, to the website you want to direct it to. So in our case, we'll just go to uh, Twitter. So twitter.com, end quotes, semicolon. And now we'll be creating our URL object. So nsurl uh, website equals nsurl URL with string. And that string is going to be our URL object. Now, We'll make a request, so nsurl request, and we'll just call this request equals nsurl request and request with URL, and this is going to be of the website. And now we are just going to load the web page into the web view, and we can do that by going open brackets, web view, and then load request and we're going to uh, load it from the request object. Now if we go ahead and go into build and run, here we go. And there we go, there's Twitter, and you can scroll through, and you can even sign in. It's just a whole website in a nice web view fashion. This could be used for a majority of things, for an about page. Uh, I know Twitter for iPhone, the official Twitter app, has actual web views implemented into them for the documentation and stuff like that. So it can be used for multiple ways. As always, the source code is in the uh, video description below, and be sure to download it, and I will see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.